Chief. We're going to do another apparatus showcase. We're going to go over our brand new tankers that we just purchased, 2023 Kenworth models built by Spartan. One's the 2,000 gallon tanker you see behind me, the other is a 3,000 gallon tanker. They'll be hitting the streets real soon and we want to go around the vehicles and show you some of the features that they offer. As we make our way around the vehicles, built on a 2023 Kenworth chassis, under the hood here we have all your usual locations to check your fluids and your morning truck checks and everything you need to look at for your brand new Packard engine. As we move to the driver's side of this Kenworth T480, we notice we have a blue cap here for your DEF fluid. This cap here is for your diesel fuel for the vehicle. And we also have a Kuzmo shoreline connection for when it's parked in the station. Here at the side mounted pump, we have a 500 GPM waterist pump. You see here we have a setup for a single pre-connect if the hose line needs to be deployed for offensive or defensive purposes. We have a tank to pump located right here. We have a very familiar pump boss pressure controller that you've seen on our other frontline apparatus. We have a hose trough located here. All your associated drains and other discharges for your pump. As we get to the compartmentation, the layout of both trucks is very similar to our current tankers. In fact, we mimicked the two current Kenworth tankers that are 2001 Pierce models so that we would have a familiarity amongst the fleet of tank tankers. Fleet Services has taken a lot of time and effort to go ahead and create mounting locations for all your various tools and equipment in each compartment, as you can see here with the air pack bracket and extinguisher and all your different adapters. At the rear of the vehicle, again, both the 2,000 and 3,000 gallon tankers are set up almost identical with a few variations on the locations of things, but the pieces and parts work the same. We see our main rear tank dump, we have the two direct fills, again, all very similar to our current tanker fleet. We have compartmentation for your heart suction, and we have the hose trough on the side here for your dead load uh, supply hose to help make your fills at the hydrant locations. And inside these covers here are the controls for the automated chutes on either side. And then on this side, we have the controls for this chute as well as the automated fold the tank uh, holder. One thing to note on these side chutes is they do have doors protecting them that you can lift up and then come over here and activate the chute. One nice feature of the both tankers is they have an automated fold tank holder. The controls are located here on this back door. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how that functions right now. One thing to note is to tilt the hood when you're done checking your fluids in the morning. It does have a lock located in red right here. When it's positioned down, it's locked. When you put it in line, it'll be able to close the hood. Moving down the passenger side of the vehicle, we have another compartment here. Usually stations carry a roll hose in this compartment along with some other, maybe a cooler. We can see here we also have the extension to the rear dump chute located in this compartment. As we get to the passenger side pump panel, we have a discharge, an intake, and all associated drains, as well as a hose trough for some additional hose storage. You can see we have a vertical exhaust on these trucks. We also have all the modern 12 volt scene lighting, as well as a high vis light stick that you have on most of our frontline apparatus. That, in line with all the additional uh, LED emergency equipment, really brings both of these trucks into the modern era. One thing we want to make sure that all crews understand is to please reference your operational standards as far as responding to these vehicles and take extra safety when driving down the road with 2,000 and 3,000 gallons of water. Uh, we'll go have additional PowerPoint attached to this video to go over some other pictures as far as the inside of the vehicle and the layout of the dash panel and console. And we'll have some more information regarding trans uh, transporting large amounts of water and the safety associated with that. Thank you.